So guys, I have to really to show you this. This is the coolest tree ever. This is called a fruit salad tree. There are four different types of fruits grafted onto this tree. Plums, peaches, nectarines, and I can never remember the fourth one. But we were counting. We've got peaches galore right here. I don't know if you can see that right there, but I think I've counted 11 different, 11 peaches on here. And um, counted like four plums. And it's interesting, the gentleman who came up with this idea and actually um, sells these fruit salad trees has a tree in his own property that's got 40 different types <laughs> of fruits on it. So, see you like Taylor. And this is Taylor Homestead Make the best hand lotion ever. We are going to be using beeswax. Look, it says beeswax on it. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to shave some of this beeswax off. And this becomes a humectant inside our lotion. So one, we need one cup of beeswax. So I'm going to shave this off and get one cup of beeswax. My cute little assistant poured the beeswax into the pot. Right now we have one cup of beeswax. I'm now going to put in one and one fourth cup of sweet almond oil. You guys, this makes the best hand lotion you have ever Bad. I have one lady she buys exclusively from me because she's never her hands get super dry and she hasn't found anything else that relieves her hands like this stuff does and a lot of it has to do with the beeswax so you want to make a really great cream for your hands this is it all right, I am now going to put into this one cup and one fourth of shea butter. See, here's my one cup and one fourth of shea butter. One cup and one fourth, and it's all just melting down. And we will continue to stir and stir and stir. Our mixture into this container here, and we're gonna wait for this to cool down. This is probably 150 degrees or more right now. So we're gonna wait for it to cool down. And then we're going to put the rest of our ingredients in. All right, so now that everything has been melted together, I've gotta to mix this up and look at this. This is pretty hard right now, but I still have to add the cornstarch and the aloe vera juice to it. So this has been kind of funny, guys. <laughs> this was a solid, solid, I mean solid. I've had to melt it down and continue to um, stir with this um, hand blender and put some aloe vera gel in it just to get it to this consistency. Lang Lang Essential Oil, here it is. Oh, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe Lang Lang. It's like floral and citrus all in the same. Now it acts when you, when you soap it, it acts like a floral because it makes your soap seize up pretty good. But it's got, it's not just floral. It's got like, it, it's got some citrusy stuff in it too. I love it. So I have a little tip for you if you decide to make this at home. This is all nice and smooth. And you would think, oh, it should be nice and smooth with all the, you know, the beating that you did with it. That's not always the case. And let me show you why. The beeswax in the past, I've had problems with it completely melting down and you would get little pieces in it. Now it didn't hurt you at all, but it was kind of weird to find, you know, a piece of beeswax in your, in your lotion as you were using it, right? 
And here's what I was doing wrong. Do you see on the side there, that white? That's beeswax. I was leaving it in the container and then I would scrape the sides off and the beeswax would stay. And getting those little pieces in there was hard to continue to get it mixed in the way. So what I did is I poured it from this hot pot here into this and left it. So there's nothing to scrape from the sides of that, therefore I don't have beeswax from the sides of the pot going into this. So it seems at this point that the beeswax is actually in fully and not all um, hard. So you're going to find, you know, funky beeswax pieces in it. I will put this in the description box below so that you can make it yourself. Um, it is, I'm not going to say this is easy. This was kind of a pain in the butt, tedious. It's a little tedious to be honest. I like doing it, but if you don't particularly like to put all the effort into it that I did, um, I will have this on my Facebook page, Taylor Homestead Soap, so that you can purchase it as well. It's good stuff, guys. It's some of the best stuff that I have ever personally used. The one other thing I will say about this, I do not put preservatives in this. And here's what that means. You can't go in to your container with dirty hands. You will introduce bacteria and then you will have a yucky Petri dish. So what I recommend anyone doing is using a spoon, a clean spoon, or um, some type of implement to get it out and then use it on your hands or you know make sure your hands are super clean before you you know dig into it um, I've had some on my shelf for a year year and a half now and it doesn't look yucky at all but that's because I always wash my hands so um, again there's no preservative in it but um, when there's no preservative in it you can't introduce bacteria <laughs> into it so the recipe will be in the description box below and you can purchase some of this um, Taylor Homestead Soap on Facebook. All right, so really important, you guys. When you use containers like this, these are brand new containers, but it's super important to clean them with rubbing alcohol. And I rub, rub, rub all over, inside, outside. I'm gonna do the same thing with um, the lid. You just, you've got to keep everything clean. You don't want to introduce any kind of bacteria into whatever container. Because again, this has no preservative in it. So there you go, see? Look, I'm even gonna do it with this. Here's my little spat spatula, and I'm gonna spray it down like this with rubbing alcohol, and I'm even gonna do, I'm gonna clean this with it. Gotta keep it super clean, super clean all over the place, clean. Alrighty. Now, now that everything is super clean, here's one button. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to scoop down in here and squish it up against the sides like so. Squish it up against the sides so that I don't have holes. I don't want to have, see that hole right there? I don't like that. So I squish it in. So I just, I use a little spatula and I squish it in. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, lang lang. Smells so good. So then what I do Spray this again with rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to wipe down the sides of it with, okay, I'm going to run this down the sides of it, make sure it's extra clean, I'm going to rub the inside of this again, and then I'm going to put it on top. There it is, and then I will label it. Mmm. Look at all of that, you guys. Look at how many I got out of that. Whoa. And they're full, full too. 
So we got one, ah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look at that. I got an 11 out of that. Too cool. That was a lot.